Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I'm Shot Like. This is the first qualifying round game between Mercurius and Gritti. Mercurius is spiritual and expansive, and Mercuria starts with mysticism and mining. Gritti is philosophical and financial, and Venice starts with fishing and mining. These are the starting positions. Here is Mercurius, research pebbles on. Next to some fish, there is also some gems here, some oil for later, and out here is some clams. He starts on the southeastern part of the starting continent. On the northwestern part, we find a Giritti riverside. There is a crab and aluminum, and then some marble, and then another crab over here. Let's get on with it then, shall we, without any delays? Here we go. Mercurius of Mercuria versus Gritti of Venice in the first qualifying round of the Noble Leaders Cup. Let's see who can get through to the second qualifying round. Different religions already, one city each. And Gritti is already annoyed with Mercurius uh, before turn 60, so that's that. Mercurius up to three cities now, Gritti on two. Let's see, early expansion could be important, four cities to three. Mercurius up to 5 before Gritti gets his 4th, he has only 3 cities Gritti still, 5 to 3 is the count now, and 6 to 3, Mercurius is expanding good, going to the mini continent down below, down south as well, 8 cities to 3, and Gritti is behind 9 to 3 now for Mercurius, this uh, is uh, really something, 9 cities to 3, he's 1.3 times the strength in Gritti, he's stuck, well he has 4 cities now then, he settled another one, it was 9 to 3 for a very long time, so Gritti he has been terrible expanding, 10 cities, 11 cities Mercurius now, 11 to 4, 11 to 5, Gritti is slowly building up a few more cities himself, but this could be what loses Gritti the game if he should go on to lose 12 cities to 7 at the moment, coming up on turn 200 right now with 13 cities to 7, Gritty is going optics though, maybe he wants to expand into the new world, uh, he really would need that because he is down a lot of cities, and Mercurius twice as strong as Gritty as well, Mercurius must be building up for an attack isn't he, 2.2 times the strength now. 2.2, down to 2.1 again, but with 15, 16 cities to 8, twice the number of cities, and more than twice as strong as Gritti, Mercurius must be surely be thinking about something here now. Gritti is going astronomy, Mercurius on nationalism, but he's 2.1, 2.2 times as strong as Gritti, 17 cities to 9 now, Mercurius has the advantage here. And this could be a Mercurius game, he's in a really good position, if he just could attack now and try to take Gritti down a little bit, that could be very important before Gritti gets astronomy, before he can send out his settlers to colonize the new world, Mercurius, he would really have needed to have done that a few turns ago, I think. Now let's see what happens when Gritti gets into the new world to settle cities there as well, it's still not too late for Mercurius. To make it, but there is the first gritty city in the new world we see on the continent to the west. 17 to 10 is the city count now, and gritty is on his way to even out the city counts. Now he is also, well, 17 to 11, and now 18 to 11. We see also Mercurius is in the new world, he has astronomy, I think, then. Um, at least it looks that way to me, and there he settles another one, up to 20 cities now, and Gritti on 13, Mercurius 20 to 13, so he's keeping his advantage, he's also twice as strong, and he has a lot more in score, 20 to 14 though, getting replaceable parts and probably rifling after that Mercurius, no, physics actually, okay. Gritti is on liberalism though, 21 cities to 15 now, as he settles another one, 15 for Gritti, Mercurius 21, the advantage is not as big as it used to be, 21 to 16 now, as Gritti also settles a city on the continent in the south middle of the map. 17 cities Gritti, Gritti is on his way back into this game now for sure, he is still on less than half the strength of Mercurius though, so he can't really win a battle uh, Gritti at the moment, but at least he is getting a city count up to 17 now, Mercurius on 23 though, Mercurius is going fascism as well next, while Gritti is going corporations, 24 to 18, and now Mercurius is going rifling. 
And if that is the end of Gritty, we'll have to see 2.6, 2.7 Mercurius is building up his units, 2.8 the strength to Gritty now. We are seeing 3.1 the strength, Mercurius is building up units, it's only a matter of time before the war is declared, 3.7, 3.8 times the strength of Gritty. This is a real build up by Mercurius. 25 cities to 21, and now he is 4 times the strength of Gritty. Gritty is just now getting gunpowder, going for replaceable parts, but this is too late if Mercurius just could attack now. He hasn't attacked yet. 26 to 21, and Gritty, will he get rifling before the war? Will Gritty get rifling and then be able to defend himself better? 22 cities Gritty now. That Mercurius, he had such a great build up. But he didn't attack for some weird reason. Maybe it was just Gritty deleting his units. I don't know. Maybe. But Gritty hasn't turned on the cultural slider. So it, ca it can't be that because he is teching. Getting military tradition as well. Mercurius is waiting for industrialism it seems. Gritty is on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> industrialism versus chemistry. But now Mercurius is down to 3.5 times the strength, 3.4, so it uh, wasn't to be any wars. 26 to 23 is the city count, Gritty is going for military science while Mercurius is on plastics. Uh, it looks to me like Mercurius has this game still well under hand, he just uh, decided not to win domination, at least not early. 26 to 23. And Mercurius still 3.4 times the strength of Gritty and now with artillery that may, number may increase a little bit again. 3.3 going rocketry next, Gritty is on uh, steam power. 26 to 24 is the city count, Mercurius is the strongest leader, he, he has two more cities than Gritty. He has a lot more in score, so on two points he is a lot better, but on one point it's almost even, that's the number of cities. But if Mercurius could go to war right now, that number could also be heavily in his advantage, because I believe he would win a military conflict with Gritty. But Gritty is getting up his railroads as well, so it is important for him to get those military attacks. Now Mercurius with fission, and next is refrigeration. Maybe Mercurius is making this into a space race then, suddenly. Down to 2.9 the strength of Gritty now, so he is not building up an army anymore. Three turns away from flight, 26 to 25 is the city count, Gritty is on combustion, and Mercurius down to 2.8, the strength of Gritty, and uh, some advanced flight for Mercurius then, 26 cities to 25, Gritty getting physics, and lasers for Mercurius, and Mercurius is surely going towards space by now, it looks that way to me, turn 372 now, artillery for Gritty, and he is closing in on the military power, but not on the tax. Mercurius getting ecology. And next is next is computers. Okay, so computers from Mercurius done in three turns. Gritty is getting rocketry soon as well. 26 cities to 25. I was convinced that Mercurius would attack Gritty, but he never did. Late game. Just to finish him off, so now he's down to 2.5, just down I say to 2.5, it's still a very good number for Mercurius. But not if you don't plan to go to war, and you don't seem to want to go to war. He is getting robotics now, going for space clearly here, unless Gritty can annoy him too much. Mercurius is going fiber optics and Gritty, he is taking slowly now on biology, Gritty, oh there he starts taking again. I was say, thinking that Gritty was going for culture, but he doesn't seem to be doing that. He's still taking fusion now for Mercurius. Fusion for Mercurius. And next up for Mercurius would then be superconductors. And we see creative constructions this year as well. I haven't really paid attention to the chat in the middle of the screen. Uh, three turns away from electricity now, Gritty. 26 to 25, genetics next for Mercurius then, turn 394 now, 26 to 25 is the city count, but this is going to be a space race win for Mercurius, unless Gritty can stop that by making it a cultural win, Mercurius completes a cockpit, so he has already started building the spaceship parts then, 26 cities each now, Gritty is up to 26 cities, the same as Mercurius, but as Mercurius goes, 
composites with a gritty going assembly line and Mercurius twice the strength of gritty and a lot more in score, 2000 points more in score. Even though they are equal in city counts, Merc Mercurius is going to win the space race here because I don't think that Gritty is going to attack, he is so much weaker. Going industrialism though Gritty now, Mercurius is going stealth by them at the moment, turn 403, but I don't think that Mercurius space race victory is in any danger, it doesn't look like Gritty has even thought about teching. He's going plastics and he's taking plastics as well, but now Mercurius is on future tech. Mercurius is on future tech. Turn 408 is here now. 408. The question is, will how close is he to launching the spaceship? I haven't seen how many parts have been built. He adopts environmentalism, or gritty adopts environmentalism, that is. Future tech is here for Mercurius. Let's see, turn 412, and he has completed the spaceship thrusters. And then there was a spy that was caught. 26, and now Grit is up to 27 cities. Mercurius completes the spaceship engine. And a cockpit was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. We see it in the middle of the screen there. A cockpit in Shagged was destroyed by enemy infiltrator. Which means that Gritty is using his spies to try to take down Mercurius' spaceship parts. That is the way to go for Gritty if he wants to win this game. Gritty could still win culture if he manages to destroy enough spaceship parts and having enough uh, spy points against Mercurius that he can do that. The life support was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. So Gritty is destroying the spaceship parts of Mercurius now, but how long can he continue doing that? It takes a lot of spy points to do. He must be running this espionage slider in order to do that. The trouble is if he is running the espionage slider, he is not running the cultural slider. And he is actually running the tech slider because I think that Gritty is going space himself now. Spaceship thrusters has been built by Mercurius. And one turn away from satellites for Gritty then. And going for advanced flight next. And there are spies doing stuff and being caught as well. Turn 430 then. Gritty completed the Apollo program. So Gritty has completed the Apollo program, but that is way later than Mercurius that completes another spaceship casing at the moment. I don't think that Gritty actually has the spy points available to take out all the spaceship parts that he needs to take out to win the space race against Mercurius, but I don't know. I don't think, but I don't know. So, thinking is apparently not knowing. Now you know that as well. 26 to 27 in city count. Mercurius is down to 1.9 times the strength of Gritty. Mercurius has completed the spaceship thruster. He's going for future tech 8, something like that. Turn 437 now. And Gritty is going computers. And it looks to me like uh, Mercurius, I haven't seen that many spaceship parts been sabotaged lately, so maybe Mercurius now is a clear to go into space, but I haven't seen any launches, Civilized Eulers has been incorporated, that was gritty that got Civilized Eulers, that could help if he tries to go culture, but who knows. And there is a Venetian spy that has been stumbled upon. Ecology was stolen by enemy infiltrators. Okay, so Gritty, he is stealing technologies as well. That is not what you need to do, Gritty, if you want to sabotage the spaceship parts. You need your spy points to take those out. Because if you don't, Mercurius is going to win a space race victory here. So, Gritty, stealing technologies is not something you should use your spy points for. Turn 4, 4, 5. 26 to 27 cities, Mercurius is getting future tech 10, Mercurius completes the spaceship thruster. And Mercurius, he still hasn't launched, I believe he hasn't launched, I haven't seen a launch. And Gritty, going for composites now, Mercurius, two times the strength, standard ethanol has been incorporated by Gritty, so there are a lot of corporations running around the map as well. Or, I say running around the map, they are in cities. Mercurius with uh, four times uh, turns left to Future Tech 10, turn 449, turn 450 coming up. And 
Curious 1.9 times the strength of Gritty, and I haven't seen any launchers of any spaceships, but um, that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Turn 4, 51. And Gritty has completed the docking bay. So Gritty is in the space race. He has at least one spaceship part. But uh, going lasers now, but I think Gritty is too late. I think he can't have enough spy points. But the cockpit in Shaged was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. And Gritty, as long as you can destroy the cockpit, that means Mercurius cannot lift off. And Gritty completes life support. Gritty has completed life support. Is this Gritty coming closer to taking over the space race? It depends. Mercurius, if Mercurius is not using his spies, but there is no more. Well, Mercurius could build uh, casings and stuff, but he can't build anymore. I think he has all of them. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if there are more espionage going on for the spaceship parts and the sabotaging of them and building of them and stuff as well. Turn 460 right now. And there is another great engineer that was born by Gritty. Let's see what happens with Mercurius on 26. It is Mining Inc. has been incorporated. That was Gritty that completes, uh, completes Mining Inc. That could help in building the spaceship parts. And there a stasis chamber was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. And when we see that in red, it means that Gritty has taken out the spaceship parts because the home leader is Mercurius and Mercurius has completed and now we have the war yeah Mercurius completed the spaceship part and now we have a war but I haven't seen the launch of any spaceships by Mercurius so this war uh, it doesn't come after the launching of a spaceship I believe 26 to 27 is the city count still though and Gritty completes a couple of spaceship casings Gritty completes a couple of spaceship casings and he still has 27 cities now he's down to 26 he lost one he Gritty has lost one he's taking a uh, fiber optics I believe Mercurius on 27 to 26 cities now Gritty is down to 25 cities Mercurius has been tired has become tired of all the spies sent by Gritty and now he is trying to take him out he, maybe he has changed to win domination instead of space that could be it because gritty now down to 25 cities he's one turn away from fiber optics though himself mercurius now 28 cities to 25 and he's going for future tech 15 mercurius turn 469 28 cities to 25 but what it is that i'm interested in are the spaceship parts building and the spaceship launches and stuff and that is very difficult to catch now that we have war simply because all the war messages are taking up most of the messages on the screen so i'm probably going to miss any more spaceship parts buildings unless i am really quick about it 24 cities left for Gritty though, Mercurius is going for it, 29 to 24, and uh, well, he has some way to go before he can reach domination, I believe that um, he must take a so, and Mercurius, Mercurius has won the cultural victory, I didn't even know you were going for it, I thought you were going space, and I thought that now you went domination, instead it is Mercurius winning a cultural victory, and you haven't even run the slider once I believe, I haven't seen it at the very least, congratulations Mercurius, with the win, you fully deserved it, no question about that, I was just taken by surprise with the cultural victory, congratulations though.
Mercurius won the cultural victory, he was headed for space, he also declared a war in 2044, turn 464 winning 3-0, but he only had been in war for 10 turns when he did win the cultural victory. Let's go take a look at the graphs and stuff, here we have the graphs, Mercurius is a dark dark brown almost black it looks like and gritty is the red this is the score this is the gnp we have the production we do have the food we do have the power we do have the culture and then we have the espionage so let's go take a look at the numbers of the demographics. We see Mercurius to the left and we see Gritty to the right. 103 million inhabitants. That is a good big number. Also four digits on production and close to four digits on food, but not quite. Let's go to the top six cities I understand and take a look at the cities in the BC era to... Uh, Wonders in the BC era, two Wonder Stone Edge and the Oracle. So let's go back to the top and see that Mercurius has the number one city, also the number two, number three, number four, number five, and then Gritty has the sixth city. So Mercurius, top five cities, Gritty, the city number six. Let's go stats then. Mercurius built. 26 cities, 3 religions, founded 2 golden ages, currently on 68 towns, 60 windmills, 23 farms he did build in his cities, 26 barracks, granaries and libraries, we see 13 markets at the bottom there, let's go page down, and see there are 2 military academies at the bottom of that one, page down again, and we see the Eiffel Tower at the bottom of that one, so page down again, and we see the last building on the list is Mwai statues. And then we go back to the top and look at the current units then for Mercurius. 92 mechanist infantry, 37 gunship, gunships, 33, uh, 32 marines and one great spy. He did train a total of 41 Hindu missionaries, 35 marines, 34 gunships, down to 9 Sudanese warbands. Let's go page down and see three great scientists there. Let's go page down again and see an ironclad at the bottom of the list of units trained. The kills then, 13 mechanized infantry, 11 gunships, 8 mobile artillery, down to one rifleman, and the losses were 25 mechanized infantry, 20 fighters, and 18 gunships, and down to one marine. Gritty's numbers, 27 cities built, 4 religions, 2 golden ages, currently on 63 windmills, 59 farms, 24 forest preserves. He did build in his cities 27 granaries, 24 factories, barracks, and forges. 8 recycling centers at the bottom there as well. Let's go page down and see a Taoist temple at the bottom of that page. Page down and we see the oracle as the last building on the list of buildings built by Gritty. His current units are 57 mechanized infantry, 29 workers and 14 jet fighters all the way down to one caravel. He did train a total of 43 longbowmen, 41 workers, 31 Buddhist missionaries down to 6 gunships. Let's go page down and see page 2. There is a galley at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see a battleship is the last unit built by Gritty. Let's confirm the kills. 25 mechanist infantry, 20 fighters, 18 gunships down to one paratrooper, and the losses. 13 mechanized infantry, 11 gunships, 8 mobile artillery down to one rifleman. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen. Here we see that Dongola was the last city reaching legendary. All of them was in the 50,000 something. So Faras, Khartoum, and Dongola, not that far away from each other, points wise. And we also see that both of them has built the Apollo program with Mercurius lacking a stasis chamber, so we can't launch and Gritty is lacking a lot more. Mercurius building Apostolic Palace, Mercurius United Nations. Exit and take a look at the cities. Mercurius on 29 cities then at the moment. Sort by population, let's go to the top and we see Faras, Pop 26, Dongola, Kassir, Ibrim and Khartoum on 23. They are happy, they are healthy, well with the exception of Kavar Sere, that has negative 13 happiness. Good base food, good base commerce, very good base commerce, 151 in Faras, 126 in Dongola and then 113 in Suba as well, so this is really good for some of them really. 
and we also do have some good production going on. A stasis chamber in nine turns. Mira is at the bottom of page one that says size 11 city. Let's go to the bottom, size 11 Mira. And uh, Sai and the uh, other city star, three cities on page two. Let's go and take a look at uh, Gritty's uh, cities then. He has 24 of them. Let's go over to Gritty. Okay. Click on the city list, sort by population. Venezia and Mirano 21, Santa Maria di Sala 20. And we see they are happy with uh, six exceptions. They are healthy with two exceptions. They have a good base food. There is good commerce, especially in Venezia 124. And it's also actually, I think, a good production. Congratulations with the cultural win, Mercurius 2054, turn 474, going through to the second qualifying round in the Nobel Leaders Cup. Tomorrow, there is another captain that is between Minos and Siebel. I am should like this has been the Nobel Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back later. Goodbye for now.